What's up everybody? It's Greg from Motion Sports Outdoors. We're out here in Florida on the flats and get ready to go. Um, red, snook, uh, trout, whatever we can do. It is literally New Year's Day, starting off uh, the New Year's Day, hopefully right and get on some. Uh, we're on the incoming tide coming in and we're just going to coast it in, make some laps around these canals and channels and um, these creek mouths and stuff like that and see what we can get on but uh this should be a lot of fun um not many people out there which is good and uh, hopefully we'll get into some bigs what you guys see stay tuned what's up everybody i'm back here on the flats here out in flagler beach and i was out here the other day caught some reds had a really good day and i noticed that they had a little bit of blue hint to their tails so your boy went out and got some voodoo shrimp a uh, little bit of chartreuse uh, and orange. Uh, it's kind of like a, a mucky color, a little brownish color. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on points here and uh, channel swings and uh, where the creek mouths come, as you can see. Um, they've been staging there, and uh, the current is ripping. It's ripping in, so fishing the high tide, and we'll see what happens. I hope you can see this. Uh, so, again, we have an incoming tide. If you see this little S shape you see in the water, a lot of times this is the current, like deep, little deeper current breaks. I love fishing it. Uh, a lot of times these fish will hold up and all these bait get swept in this, in this current break you see. Um, basically you have a little ripple and then it kind of goes flat and then back to a ripple. A lot of times that is a little deeper water and you can see that like current kind of like swing off that off that point there i love fishing stuff like that a lot of times again you'll see a lot of fish hang out in that slick so to so to speak so we'll figure it out we'll see what happens see if they're there it's also good honestly when you see that too even in bass fishing you see these little slicks like this a lot of times a lot of times it's it's a uh, you know current and depth changes and stuff like that that you, that you really kind of just look for and again cast it right in the middle of this slick see if we can get one i really want to get on that that break there that swing that's where i really want to get to So, anytime you have a channel swing like this, it breaks out like this. I like fish both sides. Fish right here where the actual elbow is, where it swings around, fish that, but also fish the other side. So you don't, don't just fish one side of it, per se. You wanna fish all through here. A lot of fish do kind of conjure up in these areas. Again, I'm throwing like a Houdini. I just reel it in uh, pretty quick. My setup is a Veritas, Abu Garcia Veritas. Um, one of my favorite, favorite rods throwing anything. I got a 40 pound braid and uh, I got a loose reel. Uh, it's it's seven, seven three retrieve and uh man i just just reel it in oh just had a bite there i don't know if you saw that or not just had a bite i think it was a little trout something came and got it see it ruined my ruined my bait Right. 
All right, let's see if we can skip this underneath there. Oh, what a perfect, did y'all see that? Like a pro, man. <clears throat> I teach y'all how to do that, but doing it that well. T-O-W, man, T-O-W. Time on the water. Sorry to bother you, buddy. But I'm fishing now. just bit me off look at that definitely a snook guys definitely a snook dude Ugh. oh man they get wrapped up in those gills and they're razor sharp that's disappointing well at least we know that they're here gosh I hate losing fish, y'all. I really do. I hate losing fish. But at least that they're here. Man. Here we go, guys. Oh, it's a nice red, y'all. Boy, they have a tug. Come on, baby. Look how beautiful that fish is. Come on, baby. He'll take me for a ride for sure. Good red, y'all. Nice red for this back country. Come here, baby. I just want to see you. Come here. Oh, don't get wrapped up. Don't get wrapped up. Don't get wrapped up. Come here. Come here. Oh yeah, we just wanted to see you. Good red, y'all. Uh. All right, let's put you away. You come here. You come here, behave yourself. There we go, guys. Nice red. Nice red. A lot of fun. I changed the bait over to a uh, electric chicken and uh, smacked it. So a lot of fun. Beautiful tail and everything else. So much fun, y'all. So much freaking fun. All right. Let's go ahead and get her back in. There she goes. She didn't know she was in the water. Shall we do that again? I think we shall. All right. Just jigging the electric chicken. I think I had to snook that first time, no doubt. 
so This is what I switched over to. Those of you are familiar, the Z-Man electric chicken. Smaller bait, um, downsize a little bit. Tough bite, so I just want to get a little bit, little less profile and a little bit um, chartreuse in this murkier water. So anyway, this is a great bait, especially for trout, y'all. I mean, it's a fantastic bait, so. Well guys, that's going to be it for us in this episode of Motion Sports Outdoors. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. Wish fishing was a little bit better, but hey, that's fishing. You know, they, they call it fishing, not catching. But we, we did a lot. We, we explored a lot, covered a ton of water. That's what you got to do. And uh, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, more to content to come. Be sure to tune in to Motion Sports Outdoors for awesome, awesome coverage. See you later.